mighty, mighty good. Woke me up this morning, mighty good. Started me on my way, mighty good. Almost 88 years old, mighty good. This month I've been pastoring 54 years, mighty good, mighty good. Mighty good, mighty good, oh so good, oh so good, oh so good. I love him today, I love him today, I love him today, oh so good, oh, oh yeah. song say you ought to just think of his goodness Amen. when waves of affliction sweep over your soul just think of his goodness to you Amen. my grandson Josh was in there hooking me up and then Kevin starts singing about he's able I, I, I told Josh I told Josh I said I said you know what I said that will preach I said, Grandpa, he said, don't tell me you're getting ready to change something. I said, I said, I don't know. It looks like God might, be, God might want me to let the full, few folk here know today that he is able. Yes. Ephesians 3 and 20 say, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can ask. Oh, think. That's that word, think, 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 think. When the devil is throwing one thing at you, go to thinking about his goodness. The devil want to mess with your thinking. I don't know whether God is telling me to leave where I was, was going because I was going to go today back over there to God, to the devil, wanting to mess with your thinking. Amen? We've been talking about tearing down strongholds. I think God is telling me just hook both of these up. Amen? That's what he's saying. Just hook them both up. Amen. Because we've been talking about for several weeks now about the authority of the believer. And we don't hear that in church too much. Amen. Pastors don't teach on the authority, on the authority because they wouldn't talk about the authority in the seminary. Amen. Yes, and so we walk around letting the devil use authority that he doesn't even have. Amen. God said, I give you the keys to the kingdom. Amen. I'm just reviewing for a minute. Amen. What you loose on earth, I'll loose in heaven. We be asking God to do what he's already given us the keys to do. And God then can't go and, and do it because God got laws in place. Amen. So he said, but now when you loose it on earth, I'll loose it in heaven. When you bind it on earth, I'll bind it in heaven. That's what Jesus did when he took the keys that Adam gave Satan. He took the keys back from him. And he said, here, now I'm giving you the keys. And we have seen from our teachings that he has seated us in the heavens. Just, just review. Yes. He seated us in the heavens in Christ. Isn't that amazing? Yes, we're, 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 we're here on earth, but we're seated in the heavens. And then we saw in, in 1 Corinthians 12, 13, that he baptized us into his body, the church. And then that's when he gave us authority to use. Amen? And so we've been studying, we've been studying, we've been studying that uh, 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 Ephesians in several places, as you know, and, 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 and looking at the authority. But, but last week we went to, um, to the book of Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians 10, wasn't it? Amen. 2 Corinthians 10, we went over there. Uh, uh, 10, 3. Let's, let, let, let's keep on dealing with that mind a little bit. All right. Y'all throw so much good stuff out here. Amen. Because the devil won't attack the mind. 
So you, the mind keeps telling you that God is not able. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Because, you know, uh, 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 we keep on being defeated. We've been talking about strongholds. Amen? So let, let's look at this. Let, let's look at this. Let, let's just play with this for a little bit. Amen? 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. Let's, back, let's, let's, start, at the, let's, just, let's start at the first verse. 10 and 1. Now I, Paul, beseech you by the, meek, by the meekness and gentleness of Christ who in presence and base among you, being absent and bold towards you. Now, <clears throat> here's what I get to. I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that comfort this way, and I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. Amen. He said, no, we don't, we don't do that now. Amen. Now, now we're getting down to where I want to go to. For we walk, for though we walk in the flesh, we walk in the flesh, but we do not war in the flesh. But most of us do war in the flesh. That's the problem. Amen. Amen. For, he said, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war in the flesh. And we are at war. We've been seeing that. We know. We, we looked at uh, warfare, you know, spiritual warfare and so forth. Amen. He said, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That's fresh. But mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Yes. Amen? Amen? Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Yes. Amen? Amen? Every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Amen? We are, we are, he said, we are, we are, amen. And we bring it into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen. Because the devil want to, you see, see the, the enemy don't care where you sit. He don't mind you sitting in church today. He, he does not care at all. As long as your mind is not here. Amen. Because that's all he wants. The battle is for your mind. Yes. Amen? Amen. That, that's what the battle is. Amen. As a man thinketh, so is he. You are what you think, just like you are what you eat. Yes, Amen. 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 That's why. That's that's why a lot of us got. I, I, I'm not going to say that. That's why a lot of us got to eat better. Amen. You know what I mean? Because we are what we eat. All right, all right, and, 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 and so let's look at that, that fifth verse again. Casting down the imagination of every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. So, so, so let, let, we want to just tell you, God is telling us, guard your mind. Amen? Amen. We, we, we talked about strongholds. Okay? We talked about strongholds. Uh, de dealing with Ephesians and putting on the armor. And, and, we, and we mentioned uh, 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 these, the, these strongholds that the enemy put up. All right? And we gave you an example of, 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 of Joshua. Joshua, who's a type of Christ. Amen. Uh, and we gave you the example of when he, after 40 years of wandering in the wilderness with Moses, all right, we, 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 we remember Moses was the deliverer that God sent to get them out of Egypt, which is a type of the world. The Bible is full of types, amen. And from Pharaoh, who was a type of the devil, he sent Moses to, to bring them out, and Moses brought them out, amen. They, 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 were, they, were, they were freed, amen, by the blood, amen, amen, amen. amen. That's, how, that, that's, that's what freedom, when after, after those, those, those ten things came on them, all those problems, and that last one when they started killing the kids, amen, and God had the, 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 the death angels, of, had, 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 had them to mark their home with the blood, and the death angel just jumped over the blood, amen. He, he, couldn't, he couldn't do nothing with the blood. Amen. 
And that's what that's what the Lord's Supper is about. It's about the bread and the blood. Amen. Amen. And, and we've told you before that the, 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 the blood, amen, saved them. But it was the body, amen, they took the lamb and they ate the lamb. It was the lamb, amen, eating the lamb that gave them the health to go 40 years in the, in the wilderness and nobody got sick. Amen. amen. And, we, and we've said so many times that so many uh, 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 of us here, once again, I said you don't hear nothing about, uh, much about uh, the authority. You know, folk go to church and don't know they have authority. Amen. We, you know, we, we, we mention things all the time about authority. Amen. You know, uh, we took a, this brain thing. We, we told the folk yesterday that, that like, like you all know, we never had pain, didn't have, didn't have none of that. Amen. Because Jesus said, when Jesus said it's finished, I'm reviewing you. Well, we got folk who, who haven't heard it, you see. When Jesus said it is finished, amen, the, the great exchange had take, took place. Well, he exchanged, he said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you my perfection. I'm going to give that to you. I'm going to exchange it for your sinfulness. Yes, and I'm going to take your sinfulness and your sickness and your poverty upon me. And I'm going to take it to the cross. Amen. That's the great exchange that we come to celebrate. I'm throwing a lot at some, I'm throwing a lot at, I'm throwing a lot at some but I, I'm just reminding us what we've been getting. Amen? Yes, Amen. And in that great exchange, uh, the, the type of it was way back there, right? What we're we talking about. When, when, when God said, I'm getting ready to get you out of here. You've been enslaved for, for 400 years, but, but, but I'm getting ready to break this thing. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm, get, I'm, 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 getting ready, I'm getting ready to break it. Amen? And, and, and so we know how, as I said, they couldn't touch Israel because of the blood. And so we came out and, and, and we, we showed you that was baptism. They came out, they crossed the Red Sea. The, the, the New Testament refers to that as Moses' baptism. Amen? Amen. It's a type. The Old Testament is full of types, amen, of what's coming in the New Testament. Amen. And so they went those 40 years, amen, went 40 years marching, all right. Uh, 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 and the Bible said they never had, they never were sick, amen. The blood saved them and the body fed them, amen. God took care of not only getting us from Satan and the world, amen, but he took care of our sickness, amen. Surely he borne our sickness, carried our pains, and with his stripes we are healed, amen. Amen. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. He redeemed us, brought us back. When you go to the pawn shop, anybody ever been there? You redeem your stuff, amen. You get it back. He redeemed us from the curse of the law, which was death being made a curse for us, that the blessings of Abraham might be ours, amen. And my plan was to go with that a, 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 little, a, a little bit over to that Romans 4 and remind us where, 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 where Abraham uh, uh, did not balk, did not, did not tremble at the promises of God. Amen. He just stood on them. Amen. They didn't make no sense looking in the flesh. But amen, by faith he stood on it because faith is the substance of what we are hoping for and the evidence of what we don't see because we don't walk by flesh. We walk by faith. Flesh can't see what faith can see. Amen. Are y'all getting this? Thing? I'm throwing a lot at you, but y'all had all this. I'm just kind of, kind of reminding you just to make one little point look like today. Amen. Amen. See, the devil wants you to stop thinking about what God, amen, has said and what God will do by faith. Amen. Because let's remember now, faith will seize what hope is seeing. Amen. Hope is the anchor in the storm. Amen? amen. And hope will see, amen, what God is saying, but hope won't go get it. Amen. Hope will see it, but faith will, S-E-I-Z, -E, faith will say, just excuse me for a minute, I'm going to go get this. Amen. I know what the doctor, the, the doctor see, the doctor see trouble up in that brain. Amen. But I'm going to go seize the healing for, amen. Amen. For I born his brain. Amen. The doctor say, amen. What last year, the doctor saw his heart is pumping. Amen. 20%. I went to the doctor, by the way, y'all, uh, uh, Monday. And uh, uh, for my six month checkup, and he kept laughing. He said, you're amazing. He said, I've never seen an 88 year old like you. He says, your blood pressure is, is, is 126 over 74. He said, your heart is back up to normal. He said, all your nerves are great. He said, technically, I can take you off in a minute. And he said, you went, you had never taken medicine until I met you last year. He said, I could take you off of it, but since you're at your age, he said, let me just keep it on it for maintenance. He just kept laughing. He said, I've never seen an 88 like you. 
And he started laughing. He said, you, and you work out an hour and a half? I said, yeah. Yeah, I work out an hour and a half. I said, I do 20 minutes of stretching. I do a t- a 30 minutes of weights. I do another 30 of cardio on that cardio stuff. And then I do another a 10 on, on my treadmill. And I said, and then I sometimes get on the rowing machine. Amen. Amen. Somebody, he said, I've never seen that. Amen. But you see, you see, you see, uh, in the hospital, I saw healing. Amen. You, you, I know what the doctor saw. Tell me you was there. Henry, you was there. I know what he kept saying. Kevin, I called you. I said, they're talking about putting stents in me. Amen. I told him, I don't think I need no stents. Amen. They got down there, they couldn't find nothing. He said, hey, because I kept saying what God was saying. God said, I see you healed. I see you blessed. I see you doing what you were born to do. Amen. The devil said, I see you defeated. Amen. I'm not telling you no. I went to the hospital. I went to the doctor. They use them, but they don't have the last word. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And somebody said, "Well, I'm old. I, I, I keep forgetting I'm old. I don't ever get my discount. You know the old folk discount? I don't ever get that. I, I, I forget I'm old, y'all. Till y'all tell me I'm old. Amen." Quit looking so sad, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to tell you how to get up. That's why God let me still be here old. Amen? So you can know it ain't too late. I don't care what the doctor say. It, it's still not too late. You, you got to get it in you. I'm going off the paper now. You got to get it in you. Listen. I never wanted dogs at home. But you know, I'm raising two teenagers. They come in, I told you, they come in with a dog. I got news for you. We now have in and out three dogs. You pass my house now, you see a big old vinyl fence around. I paid $12,000 to get that fence last month to put the dogs in. Amen? The dogs, you know, I spoil folk. When I eat, I still I watch my diet. I, I don't food much sodium, so I fix a lot of my stuff. And so, so if I want to say, I buy hamburger the ninety ten. That means it's, it's it's ground sirloin. Well, they Elijah them gave my dog, gave Ivy, uh, uh, American pit, gave her dry food. She didn't want it. So I put. <laughs> I mixed the sun on with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sun on steak. Shade it up. Now she won't eat. Yeah, and the other day I looked, I, I got on the last, I said, Y'all didn't feed Ivy. I said, oh, We fed her, Daddy. I said, The thing's still the food. He said, She picked out the steak. <laughs> you know, even a dog can get trained like, I don't do that. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't eat poor dog food. I mean, I, I eat sirloin. Hey, Amen. Everything believe what the daddy and the granddaddy, I call myself her granddad, what they say but us. Yeah, you know, God keeps telling you he's able to make us able, now unto him who is able. To do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can think. No, no, first above all you can ask. Amen? Or even think according to the power working in you. Amen? Now that's that's the problem. Because because we are we are taught once again traditionally Amen that when we get saved and baptized into the body that's it. Y'all know where I'm going, don't you? I go here about every week. Amen. Because that's not the baptism in the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I come from a, a denomination that didn't teach it. Wrongly didn't teach it. Amen. Because they've been it's been passed down all these years. Most of the Bibles. Amen. The great men put notes in. Amen. You read that and they call that first first Corinthians 12, 13, where we said we are baptized into one body. It said by the Holy Ghost. It says he baptizes into the body. Amen. And that's how we get saved. 
But Jesus said, amen, again, John 24, amen, you're going to receive the blessing of the Father. Amen. Wait. Amen. He said, wait on this thing. <clears throat> he calls it the blessing of the Father. That's the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. He said, you're going to get power. You don't have no power. The church don't have no power. Yes, Amen. Amen. I say it again. Because there always somebody here. Up there in Ithaca, y'all saw all the folk come down here. A bus load of folk. Come all the way from Ithaca where we had revival. Because folk were getting healed up there. And they figure they come today and just see folk getting healed everywhere. Amen. Because they're getting healed. Right to throw away, throw away stuff. Amen. Getting slain in the spirit. Amen. Back. They, they were born the drum. Had been, been uh, 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 addicted to, to what, the, the, the stuff they used to give kids for years. They didn't even know it in the church. Amen. And, they, and, and so they came. Because it's not preached. The pastor up there. Now he left there because he went to preaching. Amen. The power, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. He started expecting God. He had a lady that hadn't been there all week, was over, was over his Sunday school. And so he, he was talking about what a great person he was. So we stood in the heart and said, well, let's pray for her. I said, let's, let's tell the devil to take his hands off of her. Yes, Amen. Amen. I, I, I said, let's do the prayer agreement. Where two agree on us as churches. I'm going away from this, y'all. That, 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 I'm going somewhere else now. Where two agree on us. I'm, I'm giving what God told me to give. Where two agree on us as churches. Whatever you ask shall be done out for our Father in heaven. Now you've got to agree according to the word. But when you agree according to the word as churches, then there's even more power. Amen. That's what I did with Reverend Tussell. When Reverend Orm went back to the hospital, I called you on the phone, didn't I? I said, we need to do something. I said, let's touch and agree by phone. That that blood pressure is going to go down. He's going to be able to come on back home. Amen. I said, we need to do that now. We need to take over this thing now. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you just got to take, you got to have a takeover attitude. Amen. I told you way back there. I'm doing, I'm, I'm, this is different today. I'm doing like y'all do on TV. You know, you get them stories and they give you about four or five stories. Amen. And y'all be getting, going from one to the other. That's what I'm doing today. Amen. Amen. When, when they thought they were going to fire my daughter Tony way back there was the police department. Amen. And they, you know the newspaper was there and all. She had threatened this racist uh, uh, police officer and they said that's it you know. And I went, I told you I stepped off the elevator on the third floor. I told the devil I'm taking over this floor devil. I'm taking over. And I went to the room where they were. I sat outside the room there. And every time I come in you know they come in they, they knew it was Reverend Hill you know. By civil rights you know. Amen. But when she walked out of there she was going downtown. She had been promoted. Amen. 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 God. God is God, y'all. Amen. And God give you favor. And favor will move you from the back of the line to the front of the line. Let me give you another story. <clears throat> you remember the guy down by, by, by the water for 38 years? He was crippled. And he kept talking about, I don't have no. He said, you want to be, you want to be made whole? Uh, I don't have nobody. I don't have nobody. Jesus, hey, what I ask you? That's what we're doing in church. We sit around talking about, I mean, being pitiful. Hey, I, don't, I hate the pitiful ministry. I told you, we do not have a pitiful ministry here. Amen. Amen. Go somewhere else you're looking to, for somebody in the pitiful ministry. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Jesus said, listen, I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you what you didn't have. Amen. I asked you, do you want to be made whole? The guy said, well, yeah. Jesus said, well, get up and walk. God said, I ain't been able to walk in 38 years. Jesus said again, I don't care what you ain't been able to do. Oh God, look how God works that thing. Now unto him who is able. I'm able to make you able. Somebody in here today need to quit whining about what you ain't able to do. You need to hook up with Jesus and know he will make you able. Oh my God. The devil want to mess with your mind. Amen. But God wants you to know that he'll make you able. Now unto him who, oh my God, is able. He's able. He's able. I'm going to close with this. He's, he's, he's able. Amen. I didn't, go, I didn't give you a deep message today. We got the Lord's Supper. But the, the, the Bible says he's able. Where, wherefore, he's able to save them to the utmost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for him, for them. He's able to save. Amen. He's able to keep us from falling. Amen. Amen. Now unto him who's able to keep you from falling yes. to, the, to present your faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. He's able to keep you from falling, Jude. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. That's why the Bible says, let him who think he stand. Amen. Amen. Take heed lest he fall. Amen. But then Peter said, if you do the things that God is telling you to do, you'll never fall. Are you hearing me? If you do these things, you shall never fall. And then when you're down, the Bible says he's able to build you up. Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. Amen. Paul told the, pre the people down there in the book of Acts, amen, you've fallen, but I want you to know he's able to build you up. The devil wants to tear you down, but God is able to build you up. Amen. And then in Romans, God say he's able to make you stand. Amen. We found that God said there in Ephesians, having done all, don't lay down and whine. Having done all, stand. Stand with your lungs girded about with the truth. Amen. You can stand on the truth. Amen. Stand. Don't fall, but stand. Amen, somebody. And then, and then, and then, give me one, let me give you one more thing. He's able to make all grace abound. Amen. Toward you that ye always having sufficiency in all things may abound in every good work. Second Corinthians 9 and 8. Amen. And then somebody said, well, I got so much sin around me. But the Bible says, where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. What is grace? It's where I started. Oh, in God, good, how you just take it out of there? You don't know where you're taking it in and stop good. Amen. Grace, amen, is the unmerited favor of God. I was telling you about the man at the pool got favor. Amen. And what I use his, uh, him as a point to make was, Favor will move you from the back of the line to the front of the line. Somebody sitting in here, you need a job. You say, I've been going everywhere and I can't get it. Amen. God's getting ready to give you some favor. Amen, somebody. And favor will move you from the back to the front. I'm talking about God is able. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And he is able to perform what he said. That's why when God told Abraham at a hundred years old, you're getting ready to have a baby. And your wife, who's 90, and Amen able to have nothing, is getting ready to have one too. Amen? But Romans said, he, he staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in the faith. That's why I told you I love Abraham. Amen. That's why I stand on that, God, on that promise God made. Amen. Amen. With long life will I satisfy you. Amen. Because that, that Galatians 3, amen, said he, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. And I told you the curse of the law is sickness. Amen. It's poverty and it's death. Amen, somebody. He redeemed us being made a curse for us that the blessings of Abraham might be ours. Abraham was blessed when he was a hundred. His wife, dead womb, was blessed when she was 90. And he was fully persuaded, amen, and he was strong in the faith, giving glory to God, being fully persuaded, fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able to perform. Amen, somebody. You got to learn to stand on that faith. Amen. When the storm comes, you got to stand on it. When the winds blow, you got to stand on it. Amen. When doubt comes in your mind, you got to stand on it. Abraham then staggered at the promises of God. Amen. All the promises of God, the Bible says, are yes and amen. Amen. In Him. Amen. To the glory of God. Every promise. Amen. According to 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. It's yes. Church ought to be full of folk every week writing the promises. Because the yes is already on it. I don't care what the devil throw at you. You ought to say, I'm looking at what God says. And I'm standing on the promises of God. God is able to make me able. God somebody ought to shout today. Unto him who is able. I know he's able. I'm a witness that is able. Abraham didn't stand up. That's what God promised. Amen, somebody. The last thing I'm going to say is he's able to overcome and possess. Amen. When we talk, when we talk, when we talk, when we that way back there to Joshua. Amen. And you know, they wandered in the wilderness all that time. 
because they couldn't see what God was saying. Amen. Amen. They couldn't see it. God had done it. God had blessed them. God had delivered them. They went through that 40 years when they were sick, but then they were going one day at a time. Church is full of folk going one day at a time, like those, like those, like those first 40 year folk. The folk that was walking, amen, back there in, uh, 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 in the law with Moses. Moses couldn't take him over because the law won't take you over. Amen. The law won't take you over. We're walking in grace. Amen. Joshua, which is a, a, in the Hebrew, uh, uh, is Joshua, and in the Greek is Jesus. Joshua was a type of Christ. Joshua was able to take him over. Amen. Three days, Joshua, we were getting ready to move out, y'all. We're getting ready, ready to cross. Amen. That was a type, as we keep telling you, that was a type, amen, of the baptism uh, in the Holy Ghost. Amen. They had got the water baptism, been baptized into the body, but the power hadn't come. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you. Amen. You are in, the Holy Ghost is in you, and they put you into the body, but he hadn't come upon you. When Jesus got ready to do ministry, amen, he already was fathered by the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost put him in his mama. Amen. But when he got ready to do ministry, the Spirit came upon him. Amen. And John said, there's one coming after me. Amen. That I'm not worthy to do anything. And he said, and he, in, each, in each of the gospel, John said, and he will baptize you with fire and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Remember now, 1 Corinthians 12, 13, it says that the Holy Spirit baptized us into the body. That's his baptism. It's right in the Bible. But John said when Jesus come, he going to baptize with the Holy Ghost. And Jesus told them in the last verse in, in Luke, don't go nowhere. I've already breathed on you in John 20, 22 and said, receive you the Holy Ghost. You got that, but you don't have the power. Amen. That's what's lacking in our church. Even from the pulpit, they don't have the power. Amen. Some come on them. Amen. It's there. Amen. Amen. They don't believe you can cast out demons. We have done that. We don't believe in that thing. So it don't happen. But he said, amen. Jesus said, you're going to have the fire and, and you're going to get the baptism in the Holy Ghost and you're going to have power. God bless y'all today. Unto him who is able. Amen, somebody. And then, and then the last thing I'm saying here. Amen. The Bible says, you say, I just don't get all this. That's a lot the devil will tell you too. Watch this here. We are able to comprehend. Amen. Look at Ephesians 3, 17 and 18. That you may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height. Amen. And to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Touch somebody say, I want all of it. Tell somebody say, I want all of it. Tell somebody say, I ain't too old to get all of it. Amen, somebody? I ain't too old to get all of it. I ain't, I'm not, I want it all. Tell God, I'm greedy for you, Lord. I'm greedy for your love. I'm greedy for your power. I'm greedy for your joy. I'm greedy for your healing. I'm greedy for your blessing. Now unto him who is able. Oh my God. Touch somebody. Tell him he's able. He's able. He's able. I know he's able. I know he's able. I'm not talking about what somebody told me. I've been with him a long time since I was 10 years old. I've been running for Jesus a long time and I'm not tired yet. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, 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 no. I'm not tired yet. Running all day, running all night. Not tired, not tired, not tired, not tired. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I feel like going on. Go try it on, on every hand. That's all right. If God is for me, he's more. More, more. Woo, I feel like preaching now. Oh God, I feel like preaching. I feel like running down that aisle, doing something crazy for God. Oh my God. 
I wouldn't be nothing but a saved person. I thought I was meant to be a lawyer. I like being a lawyer for God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Listen, the devil wants your mind. Tell the devil you ain't going to get it. Tell him you're not going to get it. Amen. A amen. You know, I told you, see, the mind is not saved. The mind and the spirit, amen, are two different things. Amen. The mind and the soul are used synonymously. And the Bible says in Ephesians and in Romans 12 that the mind is renewed through the word. If you don't have much word, there's not much renewing. But the spirit and the heart are used synonymously, and they are recreated. So, for any man being Christ, he's a new creation. We're born again. But if we walk in the spirit of our mind, the mind is telling the heart what to do. And it should be the opposite. That's what's happening in the world today. Folks' minds are messed up. That's why you need so much, so much stuff to deal with your mind. Because you're all stressed out, you know. You know, I get stressed out. I go, I go to meet some, some, some God. I go to the hospital. I, get, I bring God right in there with me. Amen. Amen. You know, and I don't, have to have, I don't have to drink nothing. I don't have to smoke nothing. I don't have to snort nothing. I mean, the city of Dayton in the paper just Thursday, I didn't know this. They won't hire you if you smoke. And those now who are already were smokers before that rule became in effect, they, get, they want to start charging them an extra hundred dollars a month because of all the health things they deal with, you know. My, my last year, my son in school, I used to watch a, a girl come out every day uh, smoking these, uh, what do you call these things? Vaping, yeah, yeah, vaping. And she would get in the car with a middle-aged lady. And I said, the lady sitting there looking at her, come out doing that? The lady must be doing it, you know? That mess with your mind, you know? I saw a police report not long ago. They have no trouble finding, they, they know when you're drunk, they can do the breathalyzer. But say so many people are, 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 are messed up with weed and all this other stuff, it's hard to check and see what it is. You know, all these children, you see in New York, millions, hundreds of thousands just went crazy, most of them were kids. The, the mind, you know? We're not taught to use our mind. Weak folk got to go have something to help them. Amen? Amen? But God came to build us up. Amen? To make you strong. Amen? Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Anybody here know you need to come to the Lord? Anybody fighting something? First of all, if you're not saved, hell is waiting for you. It's not because of bad folk. I know, some, I know some people that's not saved that's morally nicer than some folk in church. But that won't get them in. Amen. You come in, you come in because you ask Jesus to become your Savior and your Lord. You can come to church. I told you before. You can sit in here and hear this and go home and, and it don't do nothing for you. You're going to stay in the same rut. Amen. But I want to tell you something. I'm a witness that it worked. I'm a witness that it worked. I'm a living witness that it worked. Amen. Right now, I want you to stand on your feet. Center backslider. Don't look so sad, y'all. Let me see you smile. Woo. You know, you know, folk look so come to church and look so sad. Good night. I, I be wondering if somebody died or, or something. Amen. Just look, woo, we look so down. Woo. Amen. I need thee. Do you need him today? Oh. This is your prayer. Just, just reach out to him now. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. Are you here? Are you here? I Right now, come right now. For healing, for deliverance. To 
today. That one today. Come for prayer. Come for healing. Come for salvation. I need thee. Are you here? Are you here? All right. God bless you. You may be seated. At the cross. Say that. Say that. At. That's what you get. Where I first. Help me say it. Everybody. And the burden of my heart roll away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now, right now, I'm a happy all the day. At the cross, down at the cross, 